Hey everyone, it's Maggie Vaughn. This is Vlogus Day 10. And um, I did an Ask Maggie segment, and somebody asked me, what is your go-to game when you can't decide what to play? And I thought that was a cool uh, question and was pretty fun to think about. So I'm doing a top five games, uh, sorry, top five go-to games when you don't know what else to play. Uh, so I'm doing it based on the player counts. So at one player, my highest recommendation that I do is to play Star Realms online. Star Realms is a two-player deck builder, and it's fun and silly, and the online implementation is done on both iOS and Android, and you can play it cross-platform, so I get to play with anyone and everyone. I'm MaggieBot on there, so you can challenge me if you like. I really suck, so <laughs> you can pump up your, your ranking pretty well. And the other one-player game that I would suggest is CO2. Uh, that was one of Vital Cerda's first games. Well, I guess he's still pretty new at it all, but it was his second game, and it's really smart and fun. Uh, for two players, I would recommend Battle Line. It's uh, really easy to get on a table quick, and, and you can play it right before your breakfast comes or whatever after you've ordered food. And then for something a little bit longer, we generally would go to Gosu which is an old card game made by Moonster Games, which is a French company that has a lot of Korean influence. Um, for three players, which can be kind of odd if you're doing area control or anything like that, we would tend to go for Luna, which is a Steffenfeld game getting reprinted by Tasty Minstrel Games later this year, or Innovation, which is a very fast-paced Carl Chittick game by Asmati Games. Um, next, we have four players, and I would choose, uh, this one was hard for me to narrow down, because there's, I mean, four players is just all the games, but um, the one we don't need to think about is Gingopolis, which is a Z-Man title from Xavier George, um, Macau, which is an older Stuffenfeld as well, that's totally due for a reprint anytime now, or we'll play Spades, because Spades is fun and good. <laughs> um, and at five players... And this is where they, they start, you know, everything starts breaking down. Because five and more, you start getting into the lighter, lighter, lighter games. Now I'm talking, like, what games do you play, you know. So, uh, New Amsterdam was a really fun one at five. It's got a genius little bidding mechanism where everything's a resource, and all you do is bid a number of resources. And when you win the bid, then you get to decide how you want to divvy it up. Um, but that one's really fun with a kind of abhorrent theme. And Rococo, which is the uh, Eagle Griffin game where you're designing suits and dresses and selling them to people or uh, giving them to people to wear at the ball. Um, that's a fantastic little five player. Um, and then if I have more than that, we have run out of strategy games, unfortunately, but I would play uh, Cockroach Poker any night of any day. And for a very long time, we played a lot of um, Shadow Hunters. But I mean, that's light, fluffy stuff. So um, if you like this list, I thought it was kind of fun myself. What do you like to play, especially at those five player ranges? I would love to know in the comments. <laughs> all right, that's all for me. Thank you. Bye.